Hello, Cordell Davenport here on my website. I'll talk about having mindset, skill set, plus performance equals results. In regards to mindset, you are what you are. You are where you are right now because what's going on right here, what you think about. You see, you are the total of some of the best thoughts and some of the worst thoughts. But in order to change anything, it all starts with thoughts first. Starts with that. And you develop that. Thoughts are things. And in order for you to change the visible, you have to change the invisible. And that is what you think about. True saying goes, you are what you think about most of the time. One day a woman's walking down the street and she saw this old man sitting on a porch and next to him had a dog and that dog was moaning and she thought that was weird just sitting there moaning second day same thing old man on porch with the dog moaning third day she says you know what i'm i can't stand this i gotta ask so she said excuse me sir may i ask why your dog is on the porch moaning it's the third day i seen him he said oh honey he's laying on a nail she said laying on a nail why don't he just move he said well honey it just hurts just enough for him to moan about it, but not enough for him to change and move. Think about that, you guys. It's all about action. We all know people that complain, but it's all about moving and not staying where you're stuck. You're not a tree. You can move. Think about that. Being positive is a choice. We make decisions all day from when we get up. What are we going to eat? What are we going to dress? We're going to wear the dress, that is. What are we going to do when we get home from work? What are we going to do on vacation? Decisions, decisions, decisions. But when it comes to being positive or negative, you only have one or the other. You can't have both. If you go in a room, you turn the light on, it's either on or it's off. So a person cannot be, for example, halfway negative or halfway positive. You're either north or south, either hot or cold. That's it. So when things come your way, you have to decide. You only have two choices. In this brief little video, I want to talk about attitude. One day there was a little boy who was playing in his backyard. He got a ball in his hand, baseball bat, throwing it up to himself, trying to hit it. And he kept saying, I'm the greatest player who ever lived. He threw it up, struck. Strike one. Threw up it again, I'm the greatest player who ever lived. Swung, miss. Strike two. He stopped, looked at the bat, looked at the ball. Like, you know what? I'm the greatest player there ever lived. He threw the ball up again. Swung, miss. Strike three. Then he said, wow, what a great pitcher. Think about that. Attitude. Confidence. That's what it's all about. Attitude, confidence. Website, I talk about having mindset plus skill set plus performance that equals results. Well, I'm going to talk about mindset. When you take a plane and you have the flight attendants there, they say this. When in case of an accident, an emergency, whatever it may be, the mass is going to fall down from the sky and to put it on you. You put it on yourself first. Then you help out somebody else. Why do you think that is the case? Well, if you think about it, you can't help anybody else until you help yourself. You can't improve your team, can't improve your family, can't improve anything. It all starts with you. So if you take care of yourself, that will allow you to take care of others. So think about that. It always starts with you. Um, talking about mindset, there's this concept that goes, when the teacher is ready, the student will appear. You see, that concept goes both ways. So for the person that is talking to someone, trying to educate them on something, if they're not ready, if not hungry for it or humble, you're wasting your time. And vice versa, if you are the one receiving some information, 
if you're not ready to take it in, it's not going to work. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And people are ready on certain aspects. Sometimes it can be something bad happens. Sometimes it can be something good. And then when that happens, they change. Remember that. Here's something to think about with banks. Let's say that you give a bank $1,000. And then in turn, the bank is going to pay you 1%. So you're getting paid $10 on that 1000 the bank then is going to get that 1000 and loan it off to somebody else and they're going to charge them 5% so the bank is going to make 50 bucks so when you think about it that $10 that they're dishing out to you and I they're making $40 in return and that's the ultimate come up talk about a velocity of money and some people think, okay, well, this investment is going to give me 10%, and the bank is going to offer me 1%. That's only 9% difference. No, it's not. It's a 900% difference. Think about that. Trying to give some mindset tips. When it comes to inspiration, if you are a boss, a spouse, someone looks up to you and you have authority or some type of responsibility you have to stay inspired to inspire others because people look to you for confidence for inspiration you may not see it up front they may not come up and say hey can you give me some inspiration but how you walk how you talk your actions people watch especially little kids so be aware of that. Try to figure out a way where you can inspire yourself first. Think about that. Cordell Davenport here. A couple years ago, I wrote this book right here, How to Be on the Hunt for the Person Yet to Become. And I decided to share a little poem I wrote. I'm all about confidence, so this is what it's about. Your beliefs can inflate your confidence. Your passion can invigorate your confidence. Your goals can activate your confidence. Your focus can direct your confidence. Your preparation can position your confidence. Your practice can sharpen your confidence. Your determination can nourish your confidence. Your courage can test your confidence. Your character can defend your confidence. Your friends and family can influence your confidence. Your responsibility can fortify your confidence. Hey, Cordell here with a mindset message. And the story goes that many, many years ago, a shoe manufacturer in England sent out two sales reps to Africa to look for business. So one guy came back and said, it's terrible. It's no opportunity. No one over there wears any shoes. Then the second guy comes back and says, it's great opportunity. No one wears shoes. So you still have the same circumstance, but it's the mindset that one has over another. So how does it apply? You can only have two choices, really. You can be positive or negative. So when you look at something, do you see it as a problem? Or do you see it as an opportunity? And that's how mindset comes into play.